Hey, 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 guys, it is your girl, Dallas Gordon, ecomcashqueen.com. I'm here today, guys, to talk to you about some eBay 2018 tips for staying on top as a drop shipper and so that you can continue selling smoothly on ebay.com in 2018. As we know, eBay has made several changes um, with their platform that have drop shippers literally shaking at the boots. So I'm here today guys to say do not panic and we are gonna talk about some tips so that you can succeed even in the midst of some of the changes that are happening on eBay right now. So a little bit about me guys, my name is Dallas Gordon, Ecom Cash Queen. I'm a motivational speaker and expert business coach with focus on e-commerce. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, and you enjoy the value that I provide here, please be sure to hit the subscribe and like button and let's get this thing popping. Okay guys, so I wanna focus on what we can do in 2018 to keep our account selling. There are some other awesome channels that have um, lots of great information like No BS Dropshipping, that's with Mark Augustine. He has an awesome channel and I'll be sure to link it below. He has a lot of great information and there are some other um, awesome YouTubers out there as well that are talking about some things that we can do to stay ahead um, right now with these algorithm changes with eBay. Now I'm not gonna talk about why the changes, there are plenty of channels that are covering that. I'm not gonna talk about the background, about eBay being sued and how they're, they're, they're um, you know, chomping down hard on dropshippers. I'm not gonna talk about that, guys. I really want to stay focused on just giving you some tips to stay ahead and to be able to succeed regardless of the changes that are happening over there on eBay. So the first thing, guys, that I wanna say is do not panic, guys. Please don't panic and do not give up. I mean, if you give up, you're only gonna make more space for other dropshippers to continue to be successful. So people are going to continue to sell on the platform. So as you know, if you have been a business owner for some time, no matter what businesses that you participate in, no matter what ones that you do, there will always be struggles, challenges, and changes. So if you give up, and you don't have tough skin and you allow every little change to run you away from the platform, guys, it's gonna be really, really hard to scale up and make a sustainable income with drop shipping. So the first thing, guys, is do not give up, okay? Number two, there are some, you wanna keep adding items. You wanna keep adding items that will be number two, guys. You don't want to um, stop working. Okay, you wanna keep adding items no matter what your process is, whether you use keywords to optimize your listings or whether or not you snipe other sellers. Whatever your process is that helps you to be successful and to make the most sales, you wanna continue doing that. You don't wanna stop working because you feel like eBay doesn't work anymore. You wanna keep listing. The people who are consistently getting sales are the people who are continuously listing. I know for me in my situation, I had a couple people that were running my eBay account. I had someone sourcing products for me and I had someone listing products for me. I have actually had to kind of stop working with them for the time being and take my account back in my own hands and manage my own account for now. Um, until I can get my account where I want it to be during these algorithm changes. Sometimes I feel like it's best to kind of take your account back into your own hands and see what's going on. When you don't know what the process is, it's hard to hire tasks out to someone else. So I kind of have taken my own account back into my own hands so that I can, you know, learn what my new process is. So my new process, guys, is to continue adding. Um, I am listing every single day. Remember, it's not necessarily about how many items that you list, but it is about the quality of those items, which leads me to my second point, which is you need to prune your account. You want to go through your account nowadays on a monthly basis, which has helped me with my sell-through rate and how often I'm selling 
um, versus how many items I have on my account is, is that I had hundreds of items sitting on my account that were not selling. So I go through my account every 30 days. I prune my listings. I make sure that uh, I have items on my account that are doing well. They have lots of watchers, lots of views and sales. And when they've been sitting for about round about 60 days or getting close to that point, I'm starting to take those items away and focus on the items that do sell and add more of those types of items. So that's the third one, guys. You may have to prune your account and remove items that aren't selling as often, um, as more often than you're used to so that you can improve your sell through rate. And guys, if you want to know specifically about sell through rate, there are some videos and plenty of information out there so that you can get a full understanding of how that works and what that is. So number four, guys, is you want to make sure that you're using the promoted listings. A couple weeks ago, I just started promoting my listings on eBay. It's a very, very easy process. You can go with the bare minimum for the amount that you're spending to promote your listings. It's literally a click of a button. You go in and select all of your listings and promote them, or you can promote specific listings just to give your listings a little bit of a boost during this time. It's good to promote them. Another thing is, guys, your seller rating. You want to make sure that you're in good standing with eBay. You want to make sure that your eBay bills are paid on time. You want to make sure that you are responding to your customer messages and that you are handling returns yourself. Because one thing that has actually hurt my eBay account in the past, you know, I sell on Shopify and Amazon and other platforms. So I wasn't quite used to the way that eBay handles returns. So the way that eBay is set up when it comes to returns is that when a customer contacts you or they request to return an item, they want you as a seller to deal with it. They don't want to have to necessarily step in and put out your fires. So the quicker that you deal with customers, you message them, the more hands on that you are with your customers, the more successful guys that you can be as far as your seller rating and how eBay is going to rate you. So you can damage your account by just kind of having a passive, uh, just being passive when it comes to returns and not being aggressive with being in contact with your customers. The best way to handle returns is to figure out what the solution is going to be right away and offering that solution to your customer so that eBay doesn't have to resolve it because eBay can slam you down, slam your account down when you don't resolve issues as the seller yourself. So guys, these were some tips for surviving uh, the 2018 eBay changes. As a dropshipper, you can still be successful on eBay. You can still sell. Do not panic, guys. Just keep doing what you're doing and you will win. And I will see you at the top. So guys, I'll be sure to link one of my eBay trainings below. I'll be sure to link um, some other goodies below uh, to help you along with your dropshipping journey as well. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or topics that you would like for me to cover, please definitely drop a comment below or send me an email at info at ecombizcoach.com. You guys have a wonderful day and make this day just as beautiful as you are. See you guys next time. Bye.